Assalamu alaikum. You may be seated, brother and sister. <laughs> In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, to whom all praise is due. And I forever thank Allah for our leader and teacher, Messenger Elijah Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with him. I thank Allah for your presence today. I thank Allah for giving to us a teacher. Yes, sir. That no other nation has ever had. That's right. Yes, sir. No one has ever taught Islam like Messenger Elijah Muhammad taught it. That's right. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and there will never come another. That's right. Messenger to you and me. That's right, sir. No more. Not another one is to come to teach you what Allah taught. That's right. Allah came in the person of a man. A man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He didn't come in the person of some spirit or spook or That's some right. Holy Ghost. That's right. Yes, sir. He came looking and acting. Right. Walking, riding in yes, his sir. little Ford car, little Chevrolet car. Yes, sir. Listen. Speaking and talking like a man. Yes, sir. And was a man. Yes, sir. And is a man. That's right. Go ahead. Listen, Adam. No God come to people in the person of a spirit. Listen. He always come in the person of man. Yes, sir. To represent the first God. Yes, sir. When you see the God come as a man, he represents the first God who created himself as a man. How long it took him to do so, nobody knows. That's right. It was not written. He didn't write it, and no one else had the knowledge to write it. Came like a man. And he wanted company after he got here and made the earth created by the word be. And uh, the water and all that was with it. Excepting a man. Yes, sir. Then he says he want a man like him made just like him yes sir so he said be and there he was made in his likeness as a god I ain't talking about devil now yes sir, yes, sir. made in his likeness as a god which he himself was and is. So I thank him for visiting us for two, three years and six months. And he stopped by our house. And that's where he left from, our house. Yes, sir. Not the house that we was actually living in. He left the messenger's house, which was our house also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he came to our house many a times. <clears throat> so I thank him and I pray to him. I don't know another God to pray to. Right. He is the only one that I know that answer my prayer yes sir because that's the only one I pray to yes sir 
Yes, sir. Sometimes the answer comes so quick it makes me kind of shake a little bit. <laughs> Listen. Said so now he. I just asked you this morning, and here it is right now. That's the way God works. Yes, sir. He works according to your needs. You might say, oh, I prayed to God last night and I've been asking him all the week and he haven't answered me yet. All right. Since he is the best knower and know better than you and me do, he answers when he gets ready. Yes, sir. Teach me. Yes, sir. Then he gives to you the blessing. And you say, I thought I needed it back then or at that time. Say, and you know it came just at the time I needed it. Yes, I've been asking for it all the year. Yes, sir. He was the best knower. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks be to Allah. Yes, sir. Which is his proper name. Brothers and sisters, I feel good to see you. You looks beautiful, as Minister Sami says. You looks beautiful, and I hope and pray, Allah, that you are beautiful. Yes, sir. Sometimes looks is deceiving. Right. Yes, sir. So let us be very careful and be beautiful. Yes, sir. You can't put powder and lipstick and whatnot on. And you can't put on a fine suit of clothes and walk down the street and swinging your keys in your hand, saying, I'm a good fellow, I'm perfect. Ask the one who sees you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are the ones to tell, not you. <laughs> now, I didn't ever finish that subject, did I? No, no sir. I want to get rid of it, but I got something else. Yes, sir. Teach us, Freeman. You know, I like, I like, and I love to tell a person who has never heard before. Yes, Though you might have heard a lot of things I have said. But when a person haven't heard, I like for them to know too. Yes, sir. The people Muslims in Atlanta, Georgia, send the greetings to you and I in the word of I salam alaikum. Thank you. That was the only one I heard from. Right away, you know, it ain't been a long time. I heard from them the other day. But all of them tells me that uh, whenever that you go before the people, tell them that we send the greetings of I Salaam Alaikum. They all say that. And uh, many of them right here in Detroit says the same thing and has not even been to the temple. Yes, and they tell me, says, when you go to your people, tell, give them the greetings from me. And I, sometimes I forget it. Because, uh, I reckon because they are not here. But you know, um, sometimes a person is not with you in the body, but in mind and spirit they is. We 
we have all that Master Farad gave us accordingly to uh, our foundation that we have. We have it. And uh, looks as though that I have to make it known among people who has one time been teachers. According to what they say, they ask. You know the world needs leadership today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It needs people who knows what Master Farad and the messenger, Elijah Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been teaching for the last 50-something years. Yes, right. Our people need it. Right. You cannot sit right, sit right down and say that I know this and I know that. That's right. And uh, here's a man here telling you all the time that you don't know it. Right. You can't you you can't sit down and say that. Like we have uh, many people today. Well, let's say it like this brother wrote in uh, the news today about Islam. He don't agree with the separation right. from white people. Yeah. And uh, he find lots of fault in Islam. But though he say he's a Muslim. Right. Listen. Because he says the book doesn't agree with separation. <laughs> Now, uh, he, he, he must have looked over something yes, in the sir. book. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead, teach it. Teach it. Teach it. There is not a book written Listen. in the affairs of religion that does not agree with separation. That's right. All will be separated. You, the black man, the white man, the Chinese, the each open, the South American Africans, all the South Africans, North Africans, the German, all of the Italians, all of the people that is in a different nationality, he must be separated if he's mixed with others. No matter where he's at, he got to go back to his own land. Yes, sir. That's right. If he does not go back to his land, then he must be destroyed in his own house in another land. <coughs> that is the words of Master Farad Muhammad. That's the words of the messenger. That is the words of the Bible. That is the words of the Quran. Yes, sir. Every nation must go to its own. And then God will destroy the devil. That fulfills the words when he said that we're going to drive them all back into the western hemisphere and profound them there. Yes, sir. He said devil, now there's some devils of our people which not a made devil but he has declared to take 
the ways of the maid devil and he loved the maid devil yes, sir. Yes, sir. and that is one of those locks that comes to a dead boat yes sir you can't unlock that lock so we are not going to lose time trying to unlock it That's right. the time has come that you and I must sit down together and comfort and have conference right. of what this great God wrote in his problems. Yes, sir. We don't know what it is to be separated. Right. We don't know how this to come about. We don't know if we be separated and go back home or in our own land. Although the book says it, we don't know what way we are to, uh, to go. Not until the day come when you shall see them standing on the corners of the streets. And they will be guiding you and telling you in what directions you should go. Yes, sir. Listen, listen. It will be done by men that the book calls standing on the four corners of the earth. Yes, sir. It will be done by those men bringing you into a knowledge of self so that you can live and not die. No. That will be the day of judgment when the separation comes. Sir. And the day of separation and the day of judgment is the same day. Yes, sir. And that day today is here. That's right. Sir. That's right. The day of judgment has came. The day of separation is here. The day of weeping and moaning and the gashing of teeth is here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The day when you shall see yourself in such a condition that you cannot overcome it is here. Yes, sir. Look, can nobody stop the things that is going on as they say it? They want to legalize the things that they can't stop. That's right. That's right. Teach me. But if you legalize the deadly, deadly things, what shall happen to those who legalize it and put it into a factor that Everyone can use it public. Yes, sir. What shall be done? What shall be done is that we shall not take time to oil a rusty lock. That's right. That's right. We are not to do that. So my dear beloved brothers and sisters, I'm going to read a little, then I think we'll complete what I'm after. He makes all things new. <laughs> it won't take long to complete it. The words are so clear until when you read them you will know that God Almighty was the cause of your ears to become open to the knowledge of self. No man could come to you with a book regardless to what kind of book that is and make you to understand self 
unless he was taught by God himself. That's right. Because the books are crooked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a lot of mistakes and crooked errors are made in all of the books that are written for their welfare and yours. Right. That's why you're all the time seeing a new book pop up, a new book coming up. Right. We got to make this book right. So today, in the making of it, The only one that made it right was Master Farad Muhammad through his messenger Elijah Muhammad by teaching him from his mouth. Teaching him from his mouth. trying to find where I, where I stop with it so that we wouldn't have to go too far back into that which he gave us. This goes a long way yet. Hmm. We were not supposed to have a whole lot left. <laughs> but anyway, just bear along with me. I don't want to go so far back that we will have to look up a whole lot. I checked, I made the check. I think we left off at this part. Even your education of this wicked world will not be a part of the education of the new world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Regardless of what knowledge you might have, the understanding that you may have, just as I said just now, this wicked world will not be a part of the education of the new world. The education of the new world will not accept the education of the old world. That's what he's saying. Because the education that we have today has been... Uh, uh, in a manner that we can't use it. It's got too much crookedness in it. That's right. So we don't need it. If that is, if everything going to be made new, we don't need it, period, right? That's it. We can't use it. So the messenger says, as I quote, I think that you are thinking that I'm going too far now. However, no education of this world of the white race will be accepted into the new world. Now, I'm going to read you a lot here because I can't change nothing. Remember, listen good. I cannot change nothing. Not one word. That's what he told me. Yes, sir. Meshanji Elijah Muhammad. He said to me, don't you change it. If you change it, 
brother, he says, you might come up against something that uh, you'll be sorry for. He said, don't do it. That's why that you see me take the book and I read it and I try to tell you what I know that uh, he, he was talking about. Not to tell you what I think. Yes, sir. I won't answer your question in what I think unless that I have not yet been told about that question. Then I say, well, I think it's so and so and so probably. Probably. But I'm not going to deal with it. Just say, I'm going to deal with this question here uh, and make you to understand it because the messenger, what, what he wrote, you didn't understand it. I will tell you, go back and read again. And it will come to you. Allah will be the cause of you to receive the knowledge of it. The God of the new world is a new God. He is not the God who ruled from the beginning. You see, see it's all clear, you know. So I'll just read it to you. So when you get one of these books, our Savior has arrived, and you will know just what you were reading about because we have been in the class and we read. You are in a class with me. Every time you come here, you only come into your class. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'll verify that which the minister said just now in the class, that he gave all to me. He did. Master Farad did. And the class was a class that had no knowledge of themselves. Yes, sir. When he gave the class to me at 348 Hastings Street in 1933, he told me, he says, uh, my name wasn't John then, it was Muhammad Sharif. So he told me, he says, Muhammad Sharif, he says, the uh, class that you shall teach is the beginners how to write for their names and how to read. You teach those. So later, as I taught them, later he told me, he says, your class is getting too large for you. You got to get you some teachers. And I chose teachers and other youngsters came to me can I teach? Can I teach? Until I had covered the whole temple of Muslims. Now the last of it, the messenger was in the hospital and I was talking with him there and I was going to another little place, uh, the island of Bermuda. I was going out there, the minister had asked for me to go up, come out there. And while I was talking to him, telling him I was going out there, or could I go, which I would ask him, could I go at every place? He said, yes, he says, wherever you go, he says, teach the good Islam that was taught to you. That's what he told me. I said, thank you, sir. He says, now, brother, you might get them all. Yes, sir. He says, you might get them all. As we was talking concerning here in Detroit, too, of certain things, then he <laughs> said, you might get them all. And uh, if you be with me, we will get them all. Yes, sir. I sit and listen yesterday about three hours at different words and sources of things that was going on. I sit about three hours listening at it. 
brother and sister, do you know that you don't have a leader teaching Islam That's right. like Messenger Elijah Muhammad told you? That's right. That's right. That's right. We got one. We got one. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now wait, I'm not counting myself. Oh, all right. I'm not counting myself. Yes, sir. So I'm not going to. I, I I'm not going to go overboard. <laughs> All right. That's why he told me don't change it, and I still remember don't change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. He says the God of the new world is a new God. He is not the God who ruled from the beginning. But he has the same idea of that rule as the God in the beginning had to create something new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. I said to you just now, when he had made everything, then he wanted something for himself. Right. Something that was new and that was a man. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. He wanted a man, somebody that he could talk with like himself he was tired of talking like he was talking and didn't have a companion along there with him he was tired of that for trillions of years and those trillions of years the messenger taught me they was years compared into these years get a trillion of these together <laughs> Yes, sir. Nobody understood. Nobody knows. That's why today uh, no white people can teach you your creation. Right. Nobody can teach you when you come about. They don't know it. Yes, right. Wasn't nobody there to write it. And that first God did not take the time to write what he did. Nobody knows the beginning. But the book, the Bible says, in the beginning. The messenger asked this question, in what beginning? Right, that's right. When did the beginning happen? Yes, sir. Nobody answers it, right? That's right. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead, teach on. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have around here people trying to write black man history. Can't nobody do that for you. That's right. That's right. Nobody can sit down and write about you, tell you when you come about on the earth. No more, no, no, but nobody can do that. No. That's like telling a billy goat when he's going to turn into a chicken. <laughs> right? <laughs> you have to excuse me sometime. I say that said things to make you laugh a little bit so you wake up. <laughs> so these things that we see and hear, it must be a new something for us. He says, as we quote again, he says, as you notice, the effort of thoughts are your thinking at times has such deep effort on the brain that it affects the surface of your face, skin, and body. Yes, sir. You hear what he says? Yes, sir. The thinking can make your color change because it's got an effect on the skin from the brains. You have so many cells there. 14 billion brain cells in your head. And they got to function. They got to work. And as they work, they tell you what to do. Many a times, all of them don't work. Many a times. Yeah, I'm talking about wise folks, yes, not us, because plenty of time, maybe five or six brain cells will work with us. 
not 14 billion, no, no. If all of your brain cells would work in your head like it does a God when he come about, you could be able to do the same thing Master Farad did for Masha Elijah Muhammad. You would sit down and extract the language of people on other planets. And that he did for the messenger. You are you a little slow in that. <laughs> you a little slow. That's kind of hard to go into your brain, right? See, I'll, I caught. I catch you in this man. I'm going to tell you. I catch you in this man. I can say something to you that you actually know. And you jump quick at it, right? Now when I come down to tell you something that you didn't catch so definitely well, you come a little slow in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> You understand me? Yes, sir. See, you telling me all the time about yourself. As I teach to you what the teacher said. Yes, sir. What my teacher taught. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you catch it? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> now you should have caught it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All praises is due Allah. Yes, sir. So the God in the beginning had to create something new. Wait a minute, no. He has the same idea of that rule as the God in the beginning had to create something new. Now, what is he going to create new with us? He's going to remove all of the old things. Like you look in your clothes closet, you go in there and you see, well, I don't want this suit no more. You look at it. No, I don't want that one no more. Until sometime you almost throw away all of those clothes in the clothes yeah. closet. Right? For what? I want something that is new. That is the God. I think that you are thinking that I'm going too far. Whoa, whoa, we, we, we did that. As you notice the effort of thoughts upon your brains, what it does to you and how it acts. Allah God makes it very easy in the next life that new life now wait now. Don't 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 get upset. Think I'm talking about somebody out there in the graveyard. I ain't talking about them. That's right. They will never have another life. Right. They they there. Right. That's why they will stay. Yes, sir. They will never come back to talk to you or no one else. <laughs> That's all of it. When someone is standing before you. I may not finish it. <laughs> when someone is standing before you talking about a new life and a life after death, which the Quran tells you that, and it tells you what that life is, it's only a continuation in this life. Yes, sir. You just can't have another life. Life has come one time. You only get one of them. That's why you try to take care of it, right? You go to every doctor in the country to save this one life. Right. Why? I won't get another one. That's right. That's why. If I was going to get another one going to heaven and live in a better state, I'd say, oh, yeah, I'll get one. I'm like the cat. I got nine lives. <laughs> but you found the cat didn't have nine, That's right? right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise is due Allah. Oh, 
So Allah makes it very easy in the next life, the new life. You will be happy all the days that you are in it. The Holy Quran teaches us that. He calls the righteous to grow. See how he's making the plane now, listen. He calls the righteous to grow into a new growth. If you are a righteous person and escape into that new life after the wicked has been destroyed, which is the white Caucasian devils, you will have a great new life. Yes, sir. And that new life that he's going to give you, it will, you don't get old. You stay at the age of 16. You'll go back. The messenger taught you. It might be somewhere in here. You go back to 16, and there you stay. Yes, sir. In this life, I give you a hint to it in this manner. Have you ever got up in the morning and you felt so good that everything that you thought about you wanted to do, you couldn't do neither one? But you had the feeling. See what I mean? Yeah. You got the feeling now that if I, I ought to go over to so-and-so house today, I ought to do such and such a thing. I ought to go out in the yard out there and do this. I ought to wash my car and clean it out good and nice. I ought to help old miss around the house here doing this. You feel good, right? Yes, sir. And don't do no, not one of them. You go someplace else with your head eyes to doing something else. When night comes, you say, I didn't do what I was intending to do. That's that young feelings that's approaching you for a new life. Now, if you turn and become righteous in it, then when the time comes for you to enter into it, you will say, I've seen this before. And you do say so now, yes, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You might have been to my house before. I might have been to yours when I look inside of it and say, I've seen a house just like this before. But you never was there. You're in a new life. It's coming. It's working. Then when you get that new life and change into it, it's so happy and good until you ain't got time to think of the evil life. Sure. <laughs> Master Farad Muhammad taught us in the messenger he approves it he said the day that you have overcome this wicked western world and living in it that you in one day one day, he says, will never remember the past. That's right. You won't. You won't be walking around here thinking about it and telling somebody what happened last year sometime. You can't. This life is so perfect and so happy here until I'm not even thinking about what back That's then. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> It makes you feel good. That's why he taught us it is more easier to do good than it is to do bad. And it is. Yes, sir. It is better. <laughs> is not it more easier to tell the truth than it is to tell the lie? And if you will take time and notice it, you will find that I am in a life today that will guide me the rest of my life. Let us continue on. The basis of pillar 
of that new world is when the old mind has been changed to a new mind or our thoughts are changed to a new mind or our thoughts are changed to a new thought a new way of thinking bringing about a change of the whole body <laughs> Now, who's going to teach you these things now? You don't hear nobody telling you this today. Go visit all of them. Listen at them. Buy all of the tapes from them and see if you hear this talk in it. They don't do it. I don't care who might be teaching Islam and saying they're teaching what the messenger taught, they don't bring this in. Because the Bible and Quran tells you that after you are dead, you will re resurrect again, right? Both books teach you a resurrection after death. And the both books teach you what the messenger is teaching you about a new life a new resurrection but it's not after death it's in this life and you feel it today you know nothing about death tell me how death feels tell me what takes life you can tell me that easy by saying man got shot last night a bullet took his life he'll never get another one a man got stabbed or cut to death last night he won't get another one all right that, you don't know nothing about that life that he went into because there is no life for him to go into he lost his life he was working yesterday and the uh, building collapsed or somebody uh, was the cause of some crane probably came over his head and dropped some steel or something down and killed the man. His life is gone. Now what shall we do? We don't know nothing about it because the man, none of them, mom and papa, nobody ever came back and told you where they was. <laughs> I'm trying to bring the thought to you that it's in this life that you live, not no other life. Listen at how he talks here, all right. The reason a lot of time that I try to make it and bring it to you because he says to me and to all that I cannot write what I want to write with paper and pen to you. I cannot do it. The time don't allow. He writes that. Read his Muhammad Speaks paper. In the new world, you will not even be able to speak the English language. <laughs> you won't be able, you wouldn't want to. Because you, you said, no, not me. All right, you got a proof of it. Right here in our eyes, before us. You take our black people today. They want to speak Arabic, right? Plenty of them. Well, I've got nothing against a man wanting to speak another language. I have nothing against that. He wanted to speak Arabic because Arabic is his language. 
use the ab original man, not the uh, uh, Arabs or the what name, you know, you're not them people. The AB means the first and the last. It means the first of the, of the people. Ab original. I'm an original person and the, I am the first of that original person. That's why the messenger says to us, Ab, AB hyphen original. You won't be able to speak the English language. Speaking of the English language by us will be stopped. By us. Will be stopped. No language of the wicked should be spoken by the righteous. That's why we teach our children today, if we hear them say uh, the filthy words or the uh, curse words, we quickly look at them and say, wait a minute, buddy. Not that. Huh? Why? It will not be accepted into the righteous kingdom that we are preparing ourselves to be in now. <laughs> because he's going to make all things new. <laughs> As there are some in Islam in the orthodox Muslim world, orthodox Muslim world, whom I have met myself and they refuse to speak English. For it is an infidel language. It's a bastard language, I would say. Yes, sir. It's a made up language. And many of the kings of the East today will not speak the English language. Right. He'll have an interpreter. Right, right. Right, right. Many of them. Thank all, <laughs> Almighty Allah that I was able to see that my own self. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Came to his house. And they sit down there. And the messenger whispers to me. He says, he is not going to speak the English language. He got an interpreter. And the man we sit to the table there, wherever that we might be sitting at, and uh, he would uh, not speak the English language, let his interpreter say. Because of, you can say anything in it. Anything that you want to say, you can say it in the English language. It's the most dirtiest language that you have ever heard. Right, you say it's that. Right. Huh? Right. Go out there in the street and you listen to that, how they're talking and you say, just listen at these crazy folks, what kind of a language they are using. Right. English language. All of that dirty language. Right. You can't do that in the Arabic language. Right. You can't speak dirty in it. At this juncture I say that's one reason that I would love that all of the people would have their children come into our school so that they will learn to get out of the language and learn to speak the language that you cannot curse another one in. That's right. that's it. Although we was told what was the baddest curse thing could be said to a person, Master Farad told us what to say. But yet, it's not a word like that. He said to us, he said, you want to make a Muslim feel bad, call him a capital P E 
A eight. Right, something like mm -hmm. poison animal eater. That's right. You called him that. A poison animal head eater. When you tell him that, you have cursed him out. Yeah. So now who want to be a, a poison, a capital poison head animal eater? Who want to be that? You don't want that? No. Don't call a Muslim that. That's bad. Because a Muslim don't want you to say he eat pork. Right? No. <laughs> The messenger says it's an infidel language. This is the truth. English, English is a bastard language. For it is a language that is made up of other language. It is a dependent language. So we see here why it is necessary for us to have a new language. They had to get a language. Now, you might he might have it down there, Father, just like I said that. We made him to get another language. We made him to get it. When we drove him across the Arabian Desert into the caves of West Asia, at the edge of the desert, we took away from him everything except the language that he was speaking. So when he got into the caves and stayed there 2,000 years, he lost his language. Only thing today that speaks any part of the language from the caves of Europe is the ape. And the only thing he can remember is Assalamu alaikum and wa alaikum salam. Yes, sir. But he, he want to tell you about his mates there, the devil, when they're walking around. He wants the master Farad said, he wants to tell you why are they free and he's in a cave. Cage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All of that is in my uh, the 6,000 year history. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like this. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a new language. He makes all things new. Go back to the very earth as the prophecy concerning this change goes like this. The prophets say that they saw a new heaven and a new earth. We and the earth both will be new. We and the earth, both, two of us will be new. But now, how is this going to happen to make it? He says to us that Master Farad Muhammad, being the wisest God of the last one, has declared that he had power to roll up this whole universe like you roll up your shades in the morning time and at night you'll bring it down. He says Master Farad had the power to roll up this whole universe like you do a shade. And you will not miss the going out of the old one, neither could you hardly tell when the new one came in. <laughs> now if he got that kind of a power, then every time you look around, there's something new. You know, we, I used to, when I was a little boy, 
now that we're on a Georgia. I used to hear people in the church singing a song. Say, I went down in the valley to pray and I got happy and I stayed all day. When I come back, I looked around me and all around me shine. And I began to wonder, was all of this mine? Because all of it was new. <laughs> Our little boy sit on the front seat with my little barefoot hanging down. That's, that is good. He makes all things new. The two, the, wait a minute. We and the earth both will be new because the power of God are the supreme being. He know, listen now, the power of God, the supreme being, not the power of a spirit, not the power of a spook. But the power of a man, a being, the supreme being, not the supreme uh, goat or somebody out there and talking about what they saw last night, not that kind of a something. But the supreme being over all his superior wisdom. And he will cause everything to grow into a new world from that of the old world. From that. He won't use that old world, none whatsoever. Well, Jesus made it plain when he said it like this. He said, you do not take new garments and put it into old garments. If, you, if you're going to do anything to the new garment, you take a piece out of an old garment and put it into the new. But you don't use it. Because many a time, the uh, garment that you get when you're going to uh, uh, make it to fit like you want it, you will have to get your new. You don't want that old. But if you're going to get any, if you're going to get in it, you use that old. I'm talking about garments. I ain't talking about the people. I'm just, just uh, a comparison. So, he makes his garments. And he used the scraps from his new garments to put into his new garments. Now, Jesus made it better, plainer, in this way. He says... You do not take old bottles to put new wine in it. It'll bust that old bottle as it is, gets its power, you know. You put new wine in new bottles. You understand me? <laughs> Now they have found something today. We used to have milk bottles with glass, right? And we turned them back to the milk company. And they would take that bottle and use it again. So now the uh, medical professionals finds out that that is no good. So they don't use that bottle again. And they're finding out that the uh, present bottles that they have, such as tin and whatnot, like what you got to put a deposit on pot, and then those bottles. Those bottles return back. They don't use that bottle again. They refine it again to make a new bottle. So is you. <laughs> so is you. In this manner, the book says this about us. 
says, when we become into this new life, he says that we have been tried and refined like silver and gold has been tried to find out whether it's pure or not, right? Now you're coming to yourself. <laughs> All praises do Allah. It is great when you know it. It makes you feel good. I just wish that we had a lot of people would come and hear it. The power, powerful God of the supreme beam over all has superior wisdom and he will cause everything to grow into a new world from that of the old world. You leave out of the old world into a new one. The curse of Yaqub and his people veil all of the earth and the atmospheres of the earth. That's pretty bad, ain't it? Right, sir. He made all of it to be poison. The plain word is poison. The atmospheres is poison that you sitting down breathing today. All of the earth and the atmospheres of the earth after the removal of the curse of Yaqub there will be a new way of thinking by a new God. <laughs> he is superior to all others to all other gods who exist before him the power of heaven and earth will submit to his power and a change is made easy and evitable for the heaven and the earth are controlled by the God of the black man. Ain't you glad you black? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praise are due forever. The devil said once on radio, I'll listen at the radio for the TV come in. Sitting there listening at him, he said he was one of them rednecks. He was talking about black people on it. He said, I'm glad that I'm not a nigga, I'm glad I'm a white man. Glad he was a white man, he said. Said to myself, old oh, buddy, <laughs> you gonna change that language? Oh <laughs> well, yeah. And did not you know that white people today wish they was as black as your shoes? They do. Plenty of them. That's right. Master Farad Muhammad taught us that white people will make a pill to take. To make them black. And they got the pill now. <laughs> Want to get black. Uh-uh, but it don't last long enough. This I got lasts forever. That you got to get away from. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Master Farad Muhammad said, it might change his skin for a day or two, said, but one thing it can't do and he can't make it. He cannot change that little black spot. That little blue spot, you know, it ain't but two, two eye spots. One black and one is blue. He can't make nothing to change that. If he do, he'll go blind. So he can't change it. 
So we look at him in his eyes and say, uh-oh, buddy, you got on some makeup. If you're black, you got on makeup. <laughs> oh, praise his due Allah. <laughs> Not only that, he said his blood is thin. No more the same. It's no more original blood. He can't make blood. He can't make it. Only thing he can do is to go and get something, uh, herbs of some sort, to help you, your blood, to create more blood. But he cannot do that and change his blood to your blood. He tries to take your blood today and pour it in another white man or white woman so that they can come strong. But it won't stay in there. It's too powerful. It won't stay in there with that others. No, because if it stays in there, it's got to change the outer appearance. So you have to keep adding black blood in there. It won't continue to work. You can't do nothing with him. <laughs> when Yaqub made that man, he made his blood weak and wicked. Weak and wicked. And no more the same. That's how come Muhammad said, the, the question that says, why does Muhammad and any Muslim murder the devil? Because he is a snake and will not keep and obey the laws of Islam. So they all had to be murdered. Now the worst, the more of the murders that will be now is that we will destroy them by the wholesale. That's the way Master Farad said it. He said we'll kill them by the wholesale. He said a game is good in the West. <laughs> what makes the game good is because we shall make all things new. <laughs> All praises is to Allah. If you're going, sister, I see you two going together. If you leave here, join at the door. If you haven't, ask that man sitting there to give you a card so you can get into your nation. All praise is due Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I'm not going to finish this part. You see, it's like this. Once you was taught by the two teachers, God and his messenger, when you get into the work that they gave you, Maybe you'll make a paragraph and maybe you won't. Because you see others. You, you see more things coming. And you want to tell this. You want to tell that. And it just keep you right there just in one place. That's why the history of Yaku is called the 6,000 year history. It takes up all of the 6,000 years that the devil been on our planet. Listen, as we go on. He makes all things new in order to keep it from being sad or written that he had to borrow some of the wisdom of this world. <laughs> oh, praises to Allah. He makes all things new, he says, so that he... It, you can't write. You can't say that uh, he, he borrowed something to make this new world. Like a man make an automobile. You think it's new. 
And when you go to look at it, you got a whole lot of other kind of scrap he done put in it. Especially these you're buying today. He makes all things new in order to keep it from being said or written that he had to borrow some of the wisdom of this world. This would make him lacking a wisdom and power to produce something other than what he had already been, what has already been produced. It would. It would make people think right straight. What kind of a God is this? He had to go there and he had to borrow some of this metal out of this foundry over here to make a pair of gold slippers he said we're going to wear. What kind of God is that? Produce your own gold, make your own slippers. That's what they said they're going to wear, right? When they got to heaven? Peter is ain't Peter gonna put on some, some wings when we get up there? <laughs> Who gonna make them wings? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Therefore the Holy Kawan teaches us that he has the power to destroy the entire universe. There it is. I told you it might be in here someplace. Therefore the Holy Kawan teaches us that he has the power to destroy the entire universe and bring in a new one and he can reproduce the present universe. I would like to say I would like to say this re reproduce that he has here let me get you a little straight on that in a new world, one, a new one, and he can reproduce the present universe. That's like I said, he could take this one out and bring in a total new one, and you'd never miss the going out and the coming in of the new one. All you know, you got a new universe. Like a person, you could, your car sitting in your garage, and uh, when you go out there the next morning, you slept all last night. When you go out there the next morning, you see a brand new car sitting there and it looks better than the one that he took out. He said, where this one come from? Who's, you running all over now. Whose car? That's your car there. The man brought it last night. <laughs> yeah. That's as near as I can get to you. I would like to say to the reader, that you have that powerful God in your midst now. As the Bible teaches you, he came after the working of Satan, the wicked. After his time has expired, then he came after his work. And you don't see no good works since then. Since 1914, you can't see no good works of him nowhere. Because he is a devil. He has been doing it all of his life. Now he must be destroyed. He will not even accept you and me if we are not willing to be called by his name. I'm talking about the God. That is what he's writing about to God now. He will not even accept you and me if we are not willing to be called by his name. You cannot keep the present name of the wicked and be present as one of the righteous in a righteous government. Hmm? Brother told me, you know, I had a lot of people in Cleveland one time, yes, and they talked among themselves because that I would give a person a name if he wanted me to. I'd help him to get him a name if he wanted to, and uh, I'd give a name. I give out a lot of names in Cleveland.
and um, they sent them back. The people sent them back. I still got them. They're going to come from. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, they're coming from, so I kept them. That's right. <laughs> they, this name, anybody can help you to get you a name. Anybody. No. Who are you gonna who are you gonna write a letter to now to get a name? You don't know the address of Master Farad, do you? Right. You don't know the address of Mission Elijah Muhammad's now, do you? Right. So who who are you gonna write to? You can't write to me even to get a name. Nobody you can write to now to get a name like we did before asking Allah to change your right. slave name and give you a holy name. Right. My slave name is so and so and so. You know how the letter went. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well that now he says get out of the devil's slave name. Yes, you can name yourself. You got a name saying Bill Jackson? You can say Wali Akbar, Wali Muhammad, Wali Sharif. Any of those original names that you know or wanted to ask somebody to help you with, you can do it. You can do it. Because you can't take this slave name in. Because he's making all things new and that was the first thing he started at with your name. But they said that according, now this is what they told me, some of them, not all of them, said that they uh, will wait until Master Farad give them a name because that the book says that he would name you from his mouth. Yes, they keep the name X uh, because the Bible said that he would name them from his mouth. All right, well, if the person want to keep the X, that's all right, but that's no name. That's right. That's a, something, a letter that we use in algebra or some other mathematics. X, this, this, this is not no name. If you go to tell a person your name is X, and that devil knows what you're talking about, he said, what was your slave name? <laughs> They'll ask you that. And then there you is. The X was just to use so far. The time is out for using the X now. <laughs> Why is the time out, John? It is because that I ain't got nobody to ask for a name. If I was going to wait until the God come back. He's not got time when he come back to bother with you giving 40 million people a name. That'll be a long time, brother and sister, to name 40 million people in America. So we don't go like that. We can get a name of our own selves. He told you in the same book. Get out of that devil's name. Get you a name. He told you that. Let us go on because it's right in the same paragraph that I'm in. You cannot keep the present name of the wicked and be present as one of the righteous in a righteous government. He makes all things new. In one place in the Bible, it prophesies that you will have a new name. In another place, it is prophesied that you cannot see the hereafter unless you have a name of God. This is why the white race does, this is why the white race does 
everything that is possible that is possible can that is possible can they miss that away there that's why I'm fumbling with it it seems that the, the, the printing of the book it seems to me like it should says that he does everything that is possible that he that he possibly can to keep you from being called by one of the names. So that was a word missed out there. Yes, and I think the word was he. Yes, sir. And the devil does. He tries to keep you from being a Muslim every way. Right. He did it when we first started. He did it. He, he would send FBI's around to people houses so that they would uh, would uh, get scared right, sir. so that they wouldn't become Muslims. Yeah. He did it. Meet you on the street someplace. He'll mock your name. He couldn't do nothing with it. He'll mock your name. And then they say that you have to have this or that for your name. You got to go down and have it uh, legalized. Right, I've been wearing John Muhammad for, since 1931. Not John Muhammad, but original name. My name was Muhammad Sharif before. So uh, I've been when I went to No Devils to change it. I ain't going. What the use of me to go to him? He he's my slave master's children. And now I got to go to him to make it legal for him to use it. All right, I, I got no need to to go to him to say I want my name legalized. He naming me it. Not Master Farad, not the messenger, not yourself. He naming you it. Then he now he can take that name back. Say this is a slave here, yeah, I let him wet his name for so long. By saying the legalized of your papers is not any more legal in this country. You must wear the name of Jim Jones or Jim Jackson or whatever it might be to be recognized. And you have then your papers no more good. But now if you don't have nothing to do with that. Then you tell them, mm -mm. I didn't come to you for you to name me. You the one took it away, so I put it back. Yeah. That's true. Now many of them don't care. I had the uh, FBI to come to me on my job, and he asked me which name did I want them to call me by. I said, John Muhammad. Well, sure, John Muhammad. He said, okay, Mr. Muhammad, that's all we come for. Yes, yes, he left. He ain't come back to me no more. He didn't ask me for no legalized papers. What are you going to ask me for? for? I was ready for him when he came and I didn't really start that. No. We didn't pay for him to take it. He didn't pay nobody to take our, right, right, our uh, names that we came in. He beat us into obeying him when he called. That's why I didn't know the Quran said that the devil said, I only called you and you obeyed. Right. Right. Well, hell, excuse the word, hell no, man. I use this language now. The hell no, man. Uh, no, I ain't going to come to you? No. They recognize Meshan Elijah Muhammad, don't they? You don't hear them calling him Elijah Poo, right? No, you don't hear that. You think he went down to the county building and signed some papers to be called Elijah Muhammad? No. When they start talking that, he told them, he says, Master Farad, God in the prison, give me this name. 
you and me, neither one had nothing to do with it. It's registered and legal with him. <laughs> See, but our people have been so dutifully in obeying the white folks. Whenever a white man say something other to them, they obeyed it. Say, it's all right. It's all right. I got it legalized now. Legalized for what? We wasn't told to go to the white people to legalize no name. W.D. Muhammad told the people to do it. Master Farad didn't tell you to go there to legalize your name. No, sir. How well do I know our secretary handing out identification cards to people as they come into the nation of Islam? He never told me to tell them to go have it legalized. Okay. Believe it or not. That's right. Muslims during the my time of getting names from Master Farad Muhammad, they'll tell you straight. If he wanted that name, he'd tell you straight. No. Master Farad gave it to me. What I got to come to you for? And we did it. We didn't give a happy about white folks. No, if we had her, you wouldn't have been here today. They'd have been nothing and did something to us and got us out of the way. But we stood up for Islam. And if he made everything new, he got to make a new Islam too. <laughs> Not orthodox Islam. No, because they walk around here believing in what they talk about. No, not them. We are Muslims that believe in none other than the teaching of Master Farad Muhammad and Elijah Muhammad. No, we don't go before no devils to tell him legalize my name. I've been wearing the name 50 something years and now I'm going up to the devil and saying, yeah, legalize my name. I didn't have one. Get your name. Because you don't have nobody to write to today to get a name. Get your one. Get out of the name X. The X is no more good. You can't use it. He told you that. He makes all things new. In one place in the Bible, it is prophesied that you will have a new name. In another place, it is prophesied that you cannot see the hereafter unless you have a name of God. Plenty of them is in the Holy Ghost. Plenty of names is there. Listen as he goes on here talking about he makes all things new. This is why the white race does everything that is possible. That is possible. That he can keep you from being called by one of the names of Allah, God. Which consists of 99's attributes or 99 names. If you refuse to accept one of the names of your God, then you are the servant of the devil and you go to his doom with him. If you refuse it. So why I got to go to the devil now to legalize it? If I go to the devil to legalize it, and if I don't have it, I'm going down with him. And if he and if he give it to me, I'm going down with him. He didn't do it when he took our parents out of slavery. He didn't give us our name back. So that's up to us today. A lot of these things people teach was not taught by Master Farad Muhammad and he shows it in his writings. No, was not taught.
taught by Master Farad Muhammad, neither was it taught by Messenger Elijah Muhammad. No name, brother, you must get out of that X. X is no name. I have registered, I have seen to the register, at least, register thousands of names given by Master Farad Muhammad sent to me. I was his secretary, sent to me and tell me, see that these names are registered at once. Muslims, people who got names from him. Now if you're gonna wait till Master Farad come back to name you, that's all right. That's you. That's you, I'm just here to tell you the truth. And when I tell you the truth, then I say you go to hell if you don't want to believe it. That's right. That's right. I don't try to make a person believe me. That's all foolishness of a teacher to try to make people believe you and then mix up the truth with the falsehood to make you believe them. Every time you mix up the truth, you got to keep lying. Tell the truth and walk away from it and say, I told you, didn't I? That's the truth. Go your way, brother. You won't be bothering me. You won't hurt me. If I tell you the truth and you walk away from me, that don't hurt me. I feel good to know that my truth is working on you. Anytime you hear a man teach the truth or tell the truth and the one that's listening don't believe that truth, watch him. He don't have nothing to do with that truth. He leaves it and that it is no good for him because he's mixing up the lie with the falsehood. This, uh, let's go on. The messenger says, the psalmist teaches you, the psalmist David, in the Psalms of David, the psalmist teaches you and me that the names of the white race have no meanings and value of good. They are not the names of God. Therefore, these names of the white race and the people who go in such names as wood, fish, and so on, and bear will be removed. The people of righteousness will not be called by such names. Imagine your being called Mr. Bra. You are not a Bra or Mr. Fish. You are not a fish. These names are worthless to be used as names of human beings. It is. This is why I mentioned earlier that you must have a name of God even to see the hereafter. The Bible teaches you bring ev brings everyone that is called by his name and the words follow that he has created them for his glory. Bring everyone that has his name. Now that's where he do the sorting out because there's many white people's got Muhammad. Look in your telephone dictionary. You'll find plenty of devils got original names in there. He wants to be like you. He wants to be you. And due to facts in many of those cases when they become high masonries, they change their names into the Islamic names. We have, even, uh, not we have it, but there are people, rather, in our nation, when they join the Catholic Church, such as being nuns and popes and uh, 
what not they have there as teachers and preachers in Catholic churches, they changes their name to let you know they are Christians. Most nuns are named Mary to let you know that they believe in Jesus' mother, Mary. And here we are around here, some of us call Muhammad, Messenger Elijah Muhammad, the mother, Mother Mary. No, that's not right. If he would had heard uh, one calling him Mother Mary, he wouldn't have called him that no more. That's right. <laughs> the messenger says here, yeah, he says, that names have been changed into his way of thinking. How will the earth be changed? The Bible teaches us that he will burn the wicked up and their wisdom will be destroyed by fire and that after 1,000 years this place will bring forth vegetation, water, and trees. It will be new vegetation, water, and trees. It will not be the same as that which we have here today. Do not ask me what kind of vegetation it will be. That is 1,000 years from now. But I do know that the earth will bring forth new garments of vegetations from this destructions of the world of the wicked. And that is true. After the bombs have been fallen on this, on this part of the earth, uh, and uh, poison gas have been poured on it, Master Farad said that, and I'm a witness bearer to it. That I sit there and listen at him as he told Messenger Elijah Muhammad that 1,000 years, brother, nobody will be able to live here in this part of the world. Nobody for a thousand years. That's why he said that is 1,000 years from now. It don't take a thousand years to do the work, to destroy this part. No. Master Farad Muhammad says that he can destroy it in one day by using just mother's plane and what is on her. This part of the world would be destroyed in one day, not 24 hours, 12 hours, he said. People don't teach this. A lot of them running around here trying to teach and don't know it. What the messenger has said and what he has wrote. Some call me a liar saying you don't know what he said. I said, you mean to tell me I sit down under the teaching of Master Farad Muhammad and the messenger for 50 something years and now I don't know it? Man, go jump in the lake. I don't only know it, but I know the depths of some of the things that he taught that he didn't even tell the people. I know them. These little new fellows walking around come up two or three years ago. What did they know? Don't know a thing in the world about Master Farad's teaching. They've never seen Master Farad, and so I've never seen the messenger. How can you talk to a man who was read up with the messenger from a little baby? I sit on his knees when I was a little baby. And now you're going to tell me I don't know the man? And he have never went away from our house and stayed a long time. What if we didn't know where he was at? Uh, don't tell me that. Some say he on mother's plane. How in the hell did he go get, get up on mother's plane? He ain't up there. Not Elijah Muhammad. That's the most foolish thing people can get out. To try to say what they know. 
That's the man that knows. Oh, that's the man that thinks he knows. And a man thinks he knows and don't know that man's a fool. Sure, I know. Even to his full books, brother, let me say this to you. Even to the full books that he wrote, I was the first man that ever saw one of his uh, uh, message to black man when he wrote it. When it come off the press. He brought it to my house. And gave me two of them. I ain't talking about the man at the press. He's the first one saw that. I'm talking about the, uh, out in the, you know, out in, out in here. He brought, the, right. He brought two of his books to my house. And he told me, he said, look what I have. I have a message to the black man now. says, if you can't get the paper, get the book. Can't get the book, get the paper. That's what he said to me. I said, you're going to give me both of them? He said, one for you and one for your wife. Yes, sir. Sitting right in my living room on Townsend. 2480 Townsend. Between Charlevoix and, uh, and uh, between Charlevoix and, well, I forget over there now. I've been so long since I've been over there. Anyway. But I was living there. That was my house there. 2480 Townsend, where I was living there. And he came there, sit down there. He came there many a times and sit down with me and talk. Many a times he'd tell me, he said, you don't have to all the time to try to get your car fare to come to me. He says, I'll come to you. And he did it. He said, I don't see how you live sometime with all these children around here. Yeah. And he did it. Now somebody going to come along and tell me I don't know my brother? Tell him to go to hell, man. You crazy as hell to say a man don't know the brother. I don't know your brother. No, I don't know your brother. I don't know if you even got one. But I do know mine. I got one sitting over there and I know a hell of a lot about him. That's right. Hey, you stand up, Johnny. See that man there? That's my brother. Got a sister sitting down right there in the red coat right there. Blood sister. These are blood people I'm talking about. And now I don't know Elijah. Crazy. And I'm the baby. I'm the last one. I'm the last of the 13. Now I don't know him. I don't know you, Johnny. You sure right. All of the 12 my mother and father said was my brothers and sisters. I couldn't tell Papa that he wasn't the daddy. I couldn't tell Mama she wasn't the mama because they the one told me who I was. <laughs> Stop listening at these fools. No, like, not only like that. You can't tell me about this flag, neither this one. You can't tell me about the cross. You can't tell me about this man hanging on the tree. I can tell you about it. And why he's there. Why this was and why this was. You can't tell me. I'll tell you. Foolish thing in the world. You say, will you have the make of an automobile of Chevrolet, Ford, and Cadillac? No. The people of the new world will not use anything that you see used today in this civilization. That's right. I heard a man, he was a devil, he belonged to the temple. Yeah, we had a devil belong to the temple. Name was Wally Muhammad. 
when I, when, when I uh, tried him for a teacher in the University of Islam, I asked him how far did he go in the school. He said, I went in the front door and came out the back one. That's what he said to me. And I put a figure up there on the board just for the peoples to see. And I turned it different ways there. And uh, he said, so and so and so, it's so and so and so and so and so and just as a yeah, so and so. I said, well, you all right. I said, for teaching. But he had a original name. And he was given the name by Master Farad Muhammad. Now, what made him to have a devil? Huh? You don't know it, do you? No, you don't know why that devil was there. I knows why. And I never have told you why, have I? But I give you this as a clue. You know what I mean when I say as a clue. If you go and join into the white people society and they don't want black people in it, but they'll take you into their society, you got to give up all of your blackness, right? You got to be a white man, care how black you is. You got to give it all up. That's why he don't want you to integrate with him. <laughs> so we went to jail and this man told the, told the um, sergeant, the lieutenant at the desk, asked him, what are you here for? And he told me, he said, I'm an original black man of Asia. So I looked at him and said, you got just as much coon in, in you as I have. And that's why he told him. So. There is so much that people should know, but they don't want it that way. They want to do it that way. And you can't do it. One that knows will catch you every time that you move. The people of the new world will have a superior automobile and planes. They will not be fueled with the same fuel that they use today in this new civilization. Gonna make all things new. We got to make some new gasoline, ain't it? Why sure? What do you want with using? I got to go over here to Mr. Ford or some of them, or, or some oil, some gasoline. See, I ain't got none. I don't know how to make it. I'll buy this from him. I'm making all things new, but I got I'm using the gas. Put some gas in there and blow you sky. You say you making all things new. You won't make this one new. The fuel that they use today contaminate the air. They speak of the dangerous level of air pollution. Constantly on the radio and televisions. Look at the lightning. See how hard it is on the eyes. You will not have this type of light. No. You will have a more soft and clear light than that which is created by the power of electricity. He make it all things new. Yes, sir. And you'll be here walking around and talking about what we got. You ain't got a damn thing. Excuse me from saying it like that. But that's that's just that that's just to let you know that you don't have nothing. That's right. 
How can you change and make something that is new and use a part of something that another man has? Can't do it. The messenger taught me and others said that they will call this a new Islam. Yes, sir. They will call it a new Islam. Why they will call it a new Islam? Why? It is because it was made new from the God who brought the old Islam to us. It will be made new. But you just cannot change the planetary systems. If so, why didn't one do so? Right. Another God got to do that. As the messenger just said in his writing. He will do that. Change the whole universe. You and me, brother, ain't nothing but crazy folks to walk around and believe that some man down here. I know ain't none up there. Right. But some man down here going to change everything and make it a new something. No. That man down here is the man that has the power over all things. Bring me a man that has the power over all things. Right. And I'll show you a man that's a fool. That's right. That's right. He makes all things new. He, ha he makes all things new. He has the power of heaven and earth. There has been many guesses made of just what type of power will be used in the hereafter. Some guesses have come close and some have not even scratched the surface of that which will come as a new world. This is the man, this writing comes from the man that Master Farad Muhammad raised up in the name of Elijah Poole and now used the name of Elijah Muhammad and did use the name Elijah Kareem. He taught him these things and before he was taught we had nobody to tell us anything. That's right. Find him. Find that man that had so much knowledge before Elijah Muhammad started teaching Islam to black people in America. Find that one that taught it. You can't find it. That's right. Dead or alive. That's right. When the devil's told the messenger, he says, if you had been teaching this kind of a teaching 20 years ago, we'd have shot you outright. He wrote it. The devil's told him that while he was in Milan, Michigan Penitentiary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> but our people lacks. They lacks the following and the voices and the words that has mixed up the truth that makes them follow. Yes, sir. It is not the truth that he's following. It is that makeup that they have. And we believed it. Oh yeah. Right. Those that had no knowledge of Elijah and Master Farah. Yes sir. They followed. <coughs> A lot of people come to me and say, WD is your nephew why, why is it that you don't follow him I said because I'm the uncle that's why yes sir <laughs> <laughs> uncle is just a little bit older than the nephew no I wouldn't follow him and that's my nephew what I'm going to follow him for when he has never laid eyes on Master Farad Muhammad. 
and I sit under his teaching. Now I'm going to sit down now and change that and throw it away what Master Farad gave me to follow him. Hell no. That's right. Nope. Right. That's right. I don't follow none of them. That's right. I don't give a happy who he is. That's right. That's right. Like Mr. Louis Farquhar sat down in the this hotel, or whatever we was at, you Western, Western Hotel, Renaissance. Renaissance. We had a big room there, about the size of this room, and uh, all of his people was in there, the laborers and all. And he said that, yes, that's a man here that don't believe all I say. And right. when they asked me to say something else, I got up and I said it too. I said, no, I don't believe all he says. That's right. Why? Why I got to believe all he said? No. I don't follow you. I follow God. I follow, don't That's follow right. you. I follow God in my dimension. That's message. right. I don't believe you. No. And especially these other small fellas, little boys as I call them. Yes, sir. I don't follow them. That's right. You can tell some of them, unite, let us all unite together. And they'll jump up and say, no, no, no. That's right. Not with you. What's wrong with me? Right. right. Well, I, can't, I, I unite with you if you unite with me. That's right. Don't make no difference. But I, and I tell you, you lying too. Right. Everyone I tell a lie don't see no more. That's right. Everyone that tells a lie, and I tell him he lie, and I don't see him no more. That's right. No. Why? People believe too many offset premises. Yes, sir. Teach <laughs> people. He makes all things new. Yes, sir. That's right. You have any proof that he has made anything new, John? Yeah. He made me new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when you come in the nation of Islam under the teachings of Master Farad and Messenger Elijah Muhammad, you have been made new. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. You can't be nothing else but a new person when you come in with them. Yes, sir. You don't change and turn around and go back and follow this one or that one when you've been made new. That's right. When you have been made new in the truth of Islam, taught by Elijah and the God that taught him, you don't need it. You can't. Right. You can't go out here and say, I'll start up something and I'm this and I'm that. You can't do that. That's right. No. We don't do that. That's right. We don't do that. That's not right. Gang of these little fellows around here. And all in the South. I go through there and I meet a gang of them. He's this and he's that. Some I met said he was God himself. Some said he was Master Farad Muhammad. That's right. How can you Muhammad and you never seen Master Farad Muhammad? I've had and heard some say it is not the blood. You the blood, blood is not the blood. Right. Huh? <laughs> no. Forget about it. He makes all things new. Yes, sir. He made me a new man. I was a boy that would tell you a lot. As those songs say, when I was a sinner, I was just like you. Yes, sir. 
I just touched the hem of his garment and he knew that his blood had made me whole. He said his blood made me whole. Take to say, I got the spirit of Jesus Christ. This one over here said, I got the spirit of old father coin. Oh, uh, either granddad whiskey. And them feeling. Yes, Both sir. of them feeling good, right? Right. Now which one? Cover them up. Yes, sir. Teach. Tell me which one. Go ahead, teach. <laughs> no. Excuse me, I might be going over Ooh, I'm over my time. But I'm gonna be here. I feel good when I start talking and he makes <laughs> that our subject this is about what? This is about the seventh yeah. week. Seventh yeah. week of our subject he makes all things new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are a long way off in some of the way of thinking and understanding and knowledge of what is yet to come according to what I have been taught by our Lord God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praise are due forever. For behold I create, create new heavens and a new earth. Listen what he says there. He says behold I create new heavens with an S on the end of it. Yes, sir. How many can these little jackasses walking around here create? <laughs> they can't create a heaven in the house, huh? and the devil is going to create one in your house. Right. A new earth. How many grains of sand can they make? I say this to let you know, brother and sisters, that this Right. They are not with Master Farad nor his messenger. That's right. That's right. And they will use the messenger's books to tell you what he said and, and, and produce his evidence. That's right. I done had them to do so to me. Yes, sir. That's right. But what did you create? Did you write that book? Write one like it. They can't even write a book like one that the messenger wrote. They can't do it. That's why they have to use heels to try to fail when they're leaning on one side. Yes, sir. Get Elijah's book here. Yes, sir. Go ahead, teach the baby. That's right, sir. Oh, yes, exactly what How well do I know it? I done met them across the country. That's right. I was in Atlanta, there at this sister's house. I had about 30 people there. And they wanted to tell me something about uh, speaking Arabic or something in the message to black man. I just remember now just how, where it's at. But anyway, you was there. That's right. And he, that, you sure did, that's right. And uh, he was trying to tell me something to condemn me, right? Trying to condemn me there before all of the other people. I told him, I said, I can't speak Arabic. I can't. But I can talk all the bastard language that you want to hear. They always like to try to condemn the last ones. That's right. The messenger was the last messenger to us. That's right. Yes. That was him. That's right. You ran him out the door too. That's right. We had it on video too. Trying to condemn 
the blood brother, not spiritual brother, right? but the blood. Right. When you don't know blood, person don't know blood, they try to condemn you. And then they still can know it and still try to condemn it to make you go the way that they want to go. For behold, I create new heaven and a new earth. The former shall not be remembered. I said he had it in there. Shall not be remembered. Now come into mind. You won't think about this place around here. Bible, Isaiah 65 and 17. I have to tell the truth, whether it is believed or not believed. Many people don't believe it. If they did, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to get in here. They don't believe it. Right. Don't believe the truth. How can an ex-slave working for self and got his old boss at his side believe the truth? Can't do it. That's right. Forget about it. I'll finish it, I guess. Let's see. I got one. If I don't finish it, well, if I don't finish it, I'll take another subject next Sunday. If the Allah spares me to get here. I can't depend on but one. I don't depend upon other gods. I don't depend upon Elijah Muhammad to get me here. That's right. I depend on God, and that's the only one I submit myself to. Yes, sir. And I don't know but the one God, and that's the one that gave me the foundation. Show me another one that's got it the foundation of what the black people in America should have. You won't find another one with this book. That's right. That's right. I ain't lying to you. I ask for people. Why don't you come and let's unite ourselves together. Yes, sir. You don't want to come. I have had them to come in disguise. That's right. They sit right there thinking I didn't know them. That's right. I know them. That's the time right. I looked at them, I knew them. Do you think you can fool God's secretary? All right. All right. Listen. Don't sit before me. Sit before me one time, I know you the next time. <laughs> yes, sir. I was taught that. Did not you know that the way I was taught, I had to remember everything? I didn't write down what the, he would say around us a lot of times, tell us don't write what I'm saying. Remember it. You might lose the writing. But if you keep it in your head, you won't lose your head, I don't guess. So if somebody take your head off. Then if they take your head off, they can't use you. That's right. They won't have the knowledge if they take their head off. That's right. So I had to learn mine by heart. Yes, sir. And I got it too. That's right. That's right. I am not saying that to try to hurt one's feeling here. I'm not, I'm not talking in that language. I don't do that. Right. I tell you the truth, and after I tell you the truth, then that's it. 
because uh, the foolish the foolish will try to uh, do a thing that he shouldn't do before others I don't do that I don't do that I tell you the truth then if you say I'm foolish that's up to you it's all right I know that in my time being taught by, the, by Allah and his messenger I have today no equals that's right that's right There's not a man that can equal me. I ain't bragging on myself that can equal me in what Master Farad and the Messenger taught. That's right. He That's might can go by me in the devil's history or some mathematics. Might can pass by me. But don't start at that what Master Farad taught me. Because I don't have to hear your questions. And if you want to ask me one, I don't have to go to the book to answer it. Because when you ask them the question, Allah gives me the answer. Why are you asking it? Yes, sir. That's right. Because that I am your last one that will come to you. That's right. Teaching what Master Farad Muhammad taught his messenger. Yes, sir. I honor my brother, the messenger, and I honor Master Farad Muhammad. He being the last God before the final battle is fought. And I honor my brother, the messenger, Elijah Muhammad, being the last messenger to us. Sir. The last one to us. Some say Muhammad 1400 years ago was the last one. Muhammad didn't come and teach you nothing. That's right. right. Who did Muhammad send to you? Well, we got the book. Yeah, but that book wouldn't wake nobody up just to take the book to go down the street preaching it with that book there. It wouldn't wake you up. That's right. It's been tampered with just like the Bible was tampered with. Sure. It was. When you was in the colleges and universities of the devil, how many holy ones could you analyze? How many did you get? You didn't get none. All of them that you did read, mostly you went to the library and read them. It wasn't there in the school. Went to the library and you sit down and say, oh, here's what they was talking about in Kawan. And then time you read it, you wrote it down. So I don't believe that. A lot of Christians right today would read the Holy Quran and seeing where the second chapter is titled The Cow. They don't want that. A cow? A cow? They don't want that. The bee? They don't want to do that. To, 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 to the book. This is titled The Bee. I'm talking about a person who have no knowledge of the Quran like we didn't have any knowledge of it when it was come to us and it was given to us. We had to have a teacher to teach us it. That's right. Title one, the elephant. What would you do reading the elephant, the bee, and the uh, cow? And you, know, and you didn't have nobody to teach you nothing about it and you know all about it? You're crazy, man. You don't know nothing. Tell them. Don't be afraid to tell them that they don't know the book. That's right. If they know the book, they would be here with you. That's right. You're knotting yourself together That's because right. the book tells us. Yes, sir. Who will it be? You're not one unity with white folks. You never did get it. 
200 years of slave and then 100 years up from slavery, you still ain't got no unity. Right. You begging him for civil rights and everything today? What do you have? Nothing. And here come some of our little peoples out there talking about uh, God sent them. What God sent him? That's right. God don't send but one man when he goes to a nation. That man then rises another one. That's right. The same as I was risen. I ain't going to talk about something about this. Talk about myself. Yes, the same the messenger Elijah Muhammad raised me and taught me Islam. Uh, uh, then he had to raise another one. Now he said, well, if he raised another one, then they just as true as you is. You can say that? No, you can't say that. Right. Know the tree by the fruit it bears. Right. If you don't know the tree, then you don't know a thing about what was taught. Yes, sir. Because he got it and unmixed it all up. That's right. That's right. So I don't say this because that uh, you're here. I don't say that. I don't talk about you. I tell you the truth. Because you can't. Nobody can talk about me. I don't care where he is or where, where he come from or where he's going. He can't talk about me. When you talk about what I teach, you talking about my teacher, not me. Okay. Now, if you want to know anything better than what I teach, what my teachers taught me, go ask them. Don't yes, ask sir. me. Yes, sir. Ask them. I only believe what he taught, and I'll die believing it, and I'm going to preach it until I die. That's right. That's right. In the beginning of our temple here, yeah, we didn't have but, well, about 18. I think it was at my house. Met one day at my house. Next time I was at my brother John and my, my sister Emma were there at their house until we got enough money to rent a little place over on the corner. And after we left there, we come to Wyoming. We left there, we come here and bought this bill. Now if I had a, had a lot of people like somebody else having, uh, why, I wouldn't have stopped here. Yeah. No. But I lost Santa to help. Yes, sir. Let me, let me leave you this and I'm going to stop. When we got the place here, we didn't have nothing. Right, right, right. We didn't have right. nothing. Didn't have no people. When we got here. That's true. But we went ahead on with it. And now we have just about paid for the corner. We are over just a few nickels. Yeah. The nation of Islam is in the wilderness, and John wouldn't make you give all of your pennies to me. <laughs> Judge, let him be your guide, not you. Let him. Thank you. That's right. <laughs>